All right, guys. So I'm here with my friend Suban. Say hello. Hello. And uh, yeah, we had this crazy idea for the last couple of nights about doing some night photography. Try to get those Milky Way uh, photos that you see online and elsewhere. And uh, he's a photographer. I got a camera. I got my laptop. I'm going to uh, see if I can uh, get some pictures of the galaxy. And uh, well, he's going to help guide me. So off we go. So here we are sitting at uh, Drury Lake, and uh, well, first of all, uh, hello, my name is Paul. This is my channel where Nerdy is cool, and uh, yeah, so uh, this evening we are sitting out here in the dark with my laptop and the T7i camera, and uh, we're going to try to get some pictures of the universe, those Milky Way shots. So uh, uh, my friend Subon, who is handling the camera right now, has uh, got his camera set up. I'm setting mine up, and if you want to look right here, uh, you can see I have all the controls available right here. So. To do uh, the same thing he's doing uh, via via the uh, computer. So off we go. Okay, so some progress. Uh, I'm not the most fluent in photography, but Saban is being very patient and showing me a lot of stuff. And uh, right now we're doing some long exposure at the f4 setting, a, about an ISO of 400. show you know a couple of the pictures that we've been mucking with here that are starting to come out okay so we had to play with focus we have airplanes that are coming across so it's it's trial uh, and error but what's cool is we have some nice shot of the foreground we're picking up some of that from the camps on the lake so uh, we're getting better so we still don't have that perfect shot yet but I think we're close we're back. It's future me. So did that a couple of nights ago. That was done on Brewer Lake. I did it with my Canon T7i DSLR, same one I'm using here for my videos. And nothing special with the lens. The lens is the kit lens uh, that comes with the camera. And uh, just some you know beefed up tripods that I bought a while back on Amazon. And that's basically all the equipment I used. And uh, a lot of fun. And as I'm going to uh, flicker through here is you can see some of the uh, photographs and uh, some of the results I got. And as you can see, some of them are pretty good. We're, we're, we're getting close. Not quite as nice as the ones I've seen on other Facebook pages or uh, uh, various websites where they show these really cool galactic shots. I was hoping it would be easy to get that, but no, it's not. A um, couple thoughts. Uh, they recommend that a lot of the tutorials you'll find online is you want to be someplace where it's really, really dark. So, you know, for most of us in the continental United States or elsewhere, you're surrounded by city lights, you've got airplanes flying around. Uh, so there's a few spots here in Maine that, uh, well, obviously I'm kind of in the rural wilderness up here, but uh, if I traveled about an hour or so away, we could definitely get some really dark skies and probably get some better results. So that's an idea for a future video right there. One of the other things I've been looking into is catching these kind of pictures with my smartphone, just using a iPhone 8. And uh, the problem is the, uh, the shutter speed. Uh, for most of the uh, iPhone uh, camera programs I've seen, you can only keep the shutter open for like one second. There are others out there, but they cost. And there are so many of them, but I'm trying to find the right one. I've been trying Camera 2 Plus and a few others. And I want to see how that works. And speaking of apps, if you're trying to find out, you know, where the best angle to be is for the galaxy and stuff like that, there is an app called Photo Pills, and it's very slick. I want to say it cost me $5.99 or something. But what you can do is you can get your position and you can move the phone around and it will show you, you know, where the galaxy is going to come up. It's going to tell you what the phase of the moon, uh, the best uh, time in the evening to get these sort of pictures. So there are a lot of cool, inexpensive tools out there so that if you're curious about getting these kind of photographs and you have the equipment, it's not terribly expensive to do it. So that's my grand adventure in photographing the Milky Way galaxy. There's going to be more. I think I can do better. I have a couple of ideas. I've got a couple of places I want to go and a couple of new ideas I want to try. So be looking for that video to show up sometime soon. But again, this is kind of a break from 3D printing. I've been on summer vacation. It was fun being outside by the lake taking those pictures. I got eaten alive by the mosquitoes, but we've recovered. And uh, I just want to say I thank you guys for watching. Remember, you can catch me on social media. I post stuff all the time on Instagram, on Facebook, and also on Twitter, and of course the website where nerdyiscool.com. 
Thanks for watching. If you wish to support me with Patreon or PayPal, there are links in the description below. And as always, remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Stay nerdy, guys. Thanks for watching.